Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. You already know, you should be a witness to over 100 videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys. I mean subscribers, some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still do make the videos for them even I know they are not subscribers. Just the like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, why not shop, subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel or anything like that. All the content I do create, including the codes, I do provide them completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case for most of the videos on YouTube, including the entertainment ones you would like to watch, right? <laughs> but I don't do entertainment, I like to create some value. Uh, I have some couple of jokes every now and then. I don't consider them that good, but I try, I try. <laughs> so anyway, here I am back again with another requested video, which is how to make the collection image full width as a banner on your Shopify store and we will do that by using our own custom code and we will make the normal picture for the collection checking full width on the page just like a banner and the title for the collection page will actually go down below the banner that will look better I tried it above the banner it doesn't look that good because the title then the banner huge taking the full width then the collection the products below it doesn't look that good but with the the t picture taking the full width and the title for the collection below it then the product cards it looks better and you will see that in a moment so without any more talking let's just get to it as you can see this is the shopify store where, uh, the shopify dashboard sorry and this is down team which is the one i'm going to do demonstration on and also the one i do all the demonstrations in the videos on and if you are wondering why is that because it's the most used one and also is the most requested one but if I just scroll down in here, I have every other free, the most used ones again, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. And again, why is that? Because I do actually try each one of my tricks behind the scenes on all of these. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, should work for you just fine. Because as I said, I do try the calls behind the scenes, so I don't bore people because it's gonna be like an hour long if I did it in the video. Uh, I tried it behind the scenes on all of these so I'd make sure it works for other as well. And I have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team and you might be thinking, well, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it does. <laughs> Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to make an update for you quickly as I can. And without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to make the banner image full width on Shopify just like a banner. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So everything you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials, including the announcement bar with the moving text on it, with a link on it as well, search bar, uh, the, the shadow effect with the rounded corners on the product cards, the WhatsApp, everything, every little thing, I did it in videos. So if you saw anything on the Shopify store and you think it looks good, then check out the channel. I will already be posted that video because once you see it on the on the Shopify store that means it's already done so let's just access some collection from here yeah by the way if you are interested in adding uh, icons to the drop down menu check out the channel again so <laughs> this is what I'm talking about this one right here as you can see the picture taken like half width as you can see so we will make it taking full width of the page and this title right here will go down below it in the middle here that looks way better and you will see that in a second. So we will keep this page open. And by the way, if you are interested in centering the title for the product and the price for the product, make sure to check out the channel again. I will quit now, I promise. So we will keep this page open, do the trade, come back and see it in action. So head back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already on Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders and files, simply use the search bar and type in team and you will see team.liquid, just like you see now. Click on it, a bunch of code will show up, no worries, scroll all the way down. And in here you see forward slash body, as you can see, 
we need to create some space above and before for forward slash body because we need to pass in some code. And to create that space, simply click front of the last thing in here, front of it, then hit enter on your keyboard. And here we go. We have a completely new line because as I said, we need to pass in some code. And in order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then get back to you with the code, then come back to this video. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page right here with this beautiful code. And again, this code is completely free. No pay please, no share please, nothing like that. Just a like button if this video helped you out. So obviously select the whole code in here. Make sure to select the whole thing. Then right click and copy. After you copy the code, get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create. So let's just paste in the code in here. After we did paste in the code, Click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds, it's save it, we will get back to collection page, reload the page and see the magic happen. Check it out. As you can see, the picture taking the full weight now, it's a, a banner, literally it's a banner and the title is below it in the middle and it looks way better as you can see. Uh, I'm not talking about the picture, I'm talking just about the design. I know the picture is the logo for my channel. Uh, I don't have any pictures to set it, then I have to do this quickly, so I picked that picture. And that's how you actually make the collection image full width, just like a banner on your Shopify store by using a custom code. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.